Welcome, everybody, to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, ADHD and attention coach, Jeff Copper. Always thankful for our listeners, our viewers, actually, and uh, those who post. Recently, I had one individual post asking me to do a video on uh, imposter syndrome. And this is interesting because um, that's, a, that's, a, that's a term that people can relate to a lot, like I'm impersonating somebody else. Uh, from an executive function perspective, uh, this is how I look at it. This is how I see what's going on and how I, th I think that's a bit of a challenge. Now, the world, according to me, does not necessarily mean this is facts-based or, or research-based. It's just in my experience, this is what I notice and see. One of the challenges of ADHD as an executive function impairment is self-regulation. One of those are two things you have to regulate. One is your attention and the other is emotion. And so a lot of imposter syndrome is actually rooted more in emotional reaction. Now, a lot of people struggle with the notion of having ADD. Um, I, I was interviewing Dr. Russell Barkley one time, and he, he made a comment. So, you know, a lot of what you and I do is trying to get people to own this thing. Um, because a lot of people, they read a lot about it. Um, they think it's really, really cool, but they really don't own it. They 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 talk about it, but they go right back to doing kind of what they were doing before, what they think they should do, kind of like a neurotypical. So a lot of times to me, the imposter syndrome is really you are imposter. And you're trying to act like you're neurotypical when you're not. Um, and that's that's it's it's when you think about it, it's exhausting because you're spending so much energy trying to be somebody that you're not as opposed to being who you are. Um, now, that's not to say that you can your behavior can be anything that you want it to be and be all over the place. But, uh, you know, I, I've talked a lot on this channel about ADHD being very much a, a, a thinking impairment. And just to think inside by your, your head by yourself is a bit difficult. That takes a lot of effort. Whereas if you think outside of your head, it's a little bit easier. If you're trying to be like a neurotypical and do it inside your head, it's it's, it's tough stuff. I mean, it wears you out. The idea really is to own your ADHD and not try to impersonate a neurotypical, but kind of do it your way. A lot of success stories are out there about that. Uh, there's also a lot of people with a lot of self-doubt. Um they think they lack a skill or something. You know, something It's funny because I've been in this business for a long time. And when I first got my podcast going and my YouTube channel going, hell, I didn't know what the hell I'm doing. And I'm not even sure I know what I'm doing now. Uh, but just jumped into it and did it. Um, I never took any classes on really any of this stuff. When it comes to radio and interviewing people, like, I just did it. People are like, you're good at it. Like, I I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm good at. My point in that is, is a lot of times we're projecting judgment on ourselves and expect us to be experts in everything when most people aren't experts at all and stuff. They just are kind of doing it the best they can. So that's my take on imposter syndrome. So how does this practically relate to you? Know that it's an emotional reaction, number one. Number two is if you, if you take a hard look at yourself, um, and understand yourself and accept yourself the way you are, not trying to project yourself as you want others to see you as, because um, there's a difference. We do project ourselves out into the world, but if you're trying to compare yourself to that, that's a bit of a challenge. But if you can manage your emotions around that, be yourself and just relax at the process, I think you'll find um, that, that, that anxiety that goes along the imposter syndrome not to be so bad. So anyway, if you're new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button. Um, also, those I th your thoughts. Do you have another take on imposter syndrome? Um, do you actually step into it and use it to your advantage? I, you know, I don't know. It would be interesting to, to, to hear your thoughts. Also, we do what we do for you. We certainly appreciate any contribution uh, for the cause by hitting our uh, thanks button. So with that, we hope you've enjoyed this edition of Attention Talk Video. Take care.